That's tasty. Give me a little piece. These dogs aren't eating on their own, so Anu has to hand feed them. It's funny how if you hand feed them, they'll eat. If you wait for them to eat, sometimes it doesn't happen. But when they're really sick, yeah. Yeah, they're really sick. Uh, you, leave, you, you leave food out there for them and they don't eat, right? Sometimes they don't eat, right? Mm -hmm. They're too sick to eat. But when you hand feed them, because you can see, they will eat. And in their condition right now, their diet is very important. The diet and nutrition. They need to eat as much as they can to get the protein. The Stemper infection is, in my opinion, the worst infectious disease for sheltered dogs since it invariably leads to their death either from disease or euthanasia. But we have heard for many years that distemper is a death sentence. There is no way, what we've heard is there's no way dogs can survive this without some heroic effort. And even with the heroic effort, they are still likely to die. So don't try to save them. But thanks to some pioneering shelter vets, many of whom are out there in the audience right now, I bet, we now know that dogs can survive distemper infection and become a normal pet, doing all the things that pets do in life. And these pioneers have shown us that it is possible to treat and save distemper dogs. And you see, I was one of those that believed the dogma that distemper means death. But after working with distemper outbreaks, using the intervention strategies, listening to the pioneers who know that you can treat and save dogs, I have really had my eyes open to what can be accomplished with time and supportive treatment. As we as a community continue our efforts to save more and more dogs in shelters, I certainly agree with those brave souls out there that treat the simper infected dogs and save their lives. We should change our outlook about the simper and look for treatment options either within the shelter or out in the community, including foster homes, rescue groups, and community practices to save more of these dogs. In other words, we should start thinking about what we can do for each dog during a, a distemper outbreak instead of focusing entirely on what to do at the population level. How many times you have to die to stay in life to be alive Be alive.